it's really an exciting day um, as we announce the launch of Columbia's bike share program uh, with the region, uh, making our city more walkable, bikeable, bikeable, and overall easier to get around um, is part of our overarching efforts to make uh, this city a place where people can live, work, play, prosper, and making us a, a 21st century city, a multimodal city, uh, where we'll attract and retain the very best and brightest uh, uh, residents of all ages and experiences. Uh, the bike share program will not only expand our residents' options and how they'd like uh, to maneuver the streets of Columbia, it will also serve as a mode of alternative transportation uh, that is environmentally friendly, sustainable, and moves us closer to our goal of being 100% clean energy by 2036. Whether you're commuting to work, riding to class, or wanting to avoid having to find a parking spot on the way to lunch, the bikes will give us all a quick and even fun uh, way to get around from point A to points B and C and D and yes, as it starts cooling down over the next several months, uh, which I'm sure will make the experience a whole lot more enjoyable for each and every one of us. Um, a partner in, in this project, but Weijin is a Canadian company with bike share programs across the country and around the world, even in cities across the South like Raleigh and in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, Bowiegian is going to truly enhance our connectivity across the city and hopefully uh, will even connect the Midlands as we look to expand beyond the river. Uh, Columbia has earned national recognition uh, for its efforts to improve bikeability among residents, including being named a bronze level bike friendly community three times by the League of American Bicyclists. Uh, the University of South Carolina has also been designated the bronze level bike friendly university. And with the help and coordination with groups like the Bike Pedestrian Advisory Committee, our leadership of the, of the of BPAC here with us today, Columbia is eager to expand the opportunities for bikes and pedestrians with more bike lanes, more programming, and more inclusive events. Uh, this effort would not be possible without fantastic partners like Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina, who's a primary sponsor for the Bike Share pro uh, Program through partnership with Bowiegian. Uh, this is yet another initiative that we're able to accomplish through public-private partnerships, and we couldn't be more glad to have such a wonderful, benevolent company like Blue Cross harbored here in our city. We look forward to additional sponsors being added in the new, near future. I do want to uh, touch on a, a few more points, and I'm going to pass the microphone to our Mayor Pro Tem, uh, Tamika Isaac Devine. Uh, currently, the city has three miles of bike boulevards. Uh, one mile of Vista Greenway open, two blocks of the Inner Vista Trail open, five miles of share roads, nine miles of bike lanes, 17 miles of shared youth pass, shared use pass. Uh, we currently have 97 high visibility crosswalks in the city, which increase crosswalk visibility at nighttime. We have six bike corrals within the community, and, um, and certainly the, the fantastic work folks behind me have done in, in uh, hosting the Open Streets events uh, on, on on Divine Street, the first one, in April of uh, last year. And certainly last year, we also hosted our very first South Carolina Mayor's Bike Summit. If you just go a few blocks down on Green Street, uh, we have um, the very first table stop, tabletop pedestrian intersection in the state of, of South Carolina. We're making some steps forward, primarily because of the men and women standing behind me and several of you standing in, in, in front of me. We've only just begun. Uh, what this can mean, not just in terms of leisure or even health and wellness for the city, but in terms of addressing some significant equity concerns uh, in, in our community cannot be understated. This is important. This is uh, uh, every once in a while you get to take some baby steps and, um, and frequently you get to take a big leap forward. Uh, today is a big leap forward uh, because of the incredible men and women standing behind me and because of the benevolence of Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Carolina. Uh, it's an exciting day. I want to pass the microphone to my friend, um, the Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Columbia, who long before many, uh, or any, I would say, of our City Council people were even thinking about um, uh, focusing on creating a multimodal, bike-friendly, pedestrian-friendly city, uh, led the way in helping establish BPAC and has continued to be an advocate uh, for uh, these efforts and will continue to in many years to come. Uh, my friend, the Mayor Pro Tem, Tamika Isaac Devine.
Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor, and thank you so much for your leadership. Um, Mayor Benjamin, when he was elected and took office, one of the first things he did was make sure that we uh, started on the path of, of inclusivity as far as bicycle and pedestrian friendliness. And as he mentioned, this is a huge leap forward for our city. Um, I want to thank Bowegian for their partnership. We went through a, a strenuous process. I do want to say this. I know you've heard us talk about the bike share for a while. And the reason is we wanted to make sure that we had a company and a provider that could really get us to where we needed to be. And so through a, a great process with a lot of great respondents, uh, Bowegian, a Canadian company, was chosen and their partner core logistics um, are going to be providing the bike share to our community but also Blue Cross I can't echo the mayor's comments enough how thankful we are for Blue Cross and their partnership not just through the bike share uh, but through a lot of the health initiatives that we're doing in the city and I think this certainly is a testament to their commitment to this community and to the health and well-being of all of our citizens bike share program I'm so excited about this uh, it seems like sometimes in government things take a while but when you get to the point where you can stand here and see something an idea come to fruition it is so important bike share literally is going to be public transportation on your schedule you can walk to a station you can choose a bike you can go for a ride and then return it uh, one of the things that we've noticed here in the city is and it's Sometimes you get to the point where there's the chicken or the egg. Some people say, well, there's not enough bikers. And then you hear, well, people aren't biking because they don't have access to biking. And so this is certainly our opportunity to make sure that people have not only the bike boulevards and the infrastructure necessary, but also uh, the bike and equipment um, to take a leisure ride, to, to have transportation, to work, to play, um, and whatever is in your schedule. The bike share is a relatively inexpensive and quick infrastructure extension to the city's public transportation system, allowing it to serve as a convenient last mile connector and function to transit by bike. Bike share also enhances the city's image, it creates jobs, provides additional access to local businesses and jobs, provided, provides a brand development for our local businesses, and can assist with reducing the transportation costs of households um, throughout our community. We'll be unveiling this in two phases. Phase one of the project will include 15 stations and hubs with 135 bikes. And phase two will expand the program to 25 stations and hubs and 225 bikes. The plan is to have bike share stations in many locations throughout the city with an option to set up temporary stations to support special events taking place throughout our great city, like famously hot new year um, or things, people, people having things on Main Street. The system can also be expanded beyond phase two to allow for other partners to work with the city and Powegian to identify additional locations, and this could be a regional project. We are hoping to have partners regionally come on to this so that you can pick up a bike in downtown Columbia and you can go anywhere within our region um, in the Midlands area. Of course, uh, we want to remind our cyclists of safety, and that's one of the things that we want to make sure as we enhance our, our bicycle and pedestrian friendliness throughout our city, we enhance our infrastructure, we want to make it easier for people to pick up a bike and ride, but we also want to remind people of safety. Um, we want bicyclists to choose the most, most bike-friendly route, and we as a city are going to be expanding our infrastructure to that end. We also want um, to make sure that we're inspecting um, the bikes and the tires, and we've got um, um, BPAC, who will be doing education uh, for bicyclists as well. And then we also want to make sure that our drivers and our bicycles um, are sharing the road. Um, it was exciting to wake up this morning and think about the fact that we we're unveiling this, but it also uh, was sobering as many of us woke up to the news that we had a bicyclist hit yesterday. And so it reminds us that um, as we expand this infrastructure in our city, um, we as a community, um, as we introduce the bike share, but also introduce um, our infrastructure, we have a long way to go to encouraging bicyclists um, and drivers to share the road, but hopefully we'll get some more drivers out of the cars and taking advantage of bicyclists, by bicycling and having these bike share will help make that easier for them. Um, lastly, I just want to thank BPAC for their staunch support of a bicycle friendliness throughout the city, making sure that we're not only are we providing the infrastructure, but we're having um, events 
and things that will encourage bicycling throughout our city, but we're also keeping and holding us accountable to providing the infrastructure and support necessary to expand bicycling throughout the city of Columbia. This is a very important day for us. Like the mayor said, it is a leap forward, but it's just one part of our overall bicycle pedestrian master plan. We have a lot more things that we need to do in the city of Columbia, and we are looking forward to having more uh, constituents and citizens in, um, joining us and providing um, not only education, but um, amen amenities that will support a bicycle friendly community. 